constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. Former President Mahindra Rajapaksa in his statement says that the idea of the project was first raised in 1959 in a study carried out by the United States Operations Mission and the Canadian Hunting Survey Corporation. According to him, the project also featured in the United Nations Development Program as well as Food and Agriculture Organization's Master Plan in years 1968 and 1969 for the Mahavali project. The statement goes on to say that the cabinet approval was granted on the 26th of January 2005 under the government of former president Chandrika Bandaranaike Kumarutunga to proceed with the Uma Oye project based on a cabinet paper submitted by the then Minister of Agriculture, Livestock, Land and Irrigation Anura Kumara Disanaike. The former president says that the then deputy minister of his ministry was Bimal Ratnaike. In his communique, former president quotes the JVP minister's cabinet paper bearing number 05/0036/039/002 dated 4th January 2005 which says quote for the development of the southeast dry zone in Sri Lanka particularly Hambantota and Monaragala districts there is no other alternative unless water is diverted from Uma Oya to the southeast dry zone unquote The former president also highlights the line which says quote therefore high priority should be given for this project unquote according to former president mahindra rajapaksa whenever a large scale infrastructure project is implemented there will be communities that are adversely affected he continues to say that mainly large projects were implemented during the 9 year tenure of his government he goes on to say quote and some displacements of people did take place but there was no public unrest because problems were identified early on and compensation packages were provided to the satisfaction of those affected on court in conclusion the former president states that such alertness and efficiency is however lacking under the present government